Janine asks, what, why and how then stay on the path if the resistance you receive never allows you to make any progress? Then what does it matter that you're on the right path if you can't achieve anything on it? You know, colleague Janine, I will answer your question with a gypsy saying. They used to say that sometimes the path to the goal is part of the goal. And if you don't follow the path, you don't make any progress. But sometimes it happens that the path to the result can be just as difficult as the one you describe. And it would be wrong to say that's the way it's meant to be. It's probably more correct to say that's the part of the quest that you have to go through. You have to overcome that resistance, you have to go against the wind. And only when you go against the wind, when it is difficult for you to follow, are you on the right path. But if you go with the wind, without any resistance, then it is definitely not the right path for you. And maybe that is your case. I don't know why you chose the most difficult path, the one where you can't allow yourself to make a mistake. But maybe once you have made that conscious choice, you have chosen the shortest path with difficulty rather than the longest path with no difficulty. Maybe so. The main thing is not to give up this path. Perhaps you are looking at the question you have just asked from a philosophical and psychological point of view. But try to look at it from the magical point of view, from the point of view of predetermination. First of all, ask yourself, what if this is my personal choice? What if I have created this theater of life for myself? Perhaps you should do some diagnosis. Ask the runes, ask the cards, ask any other diagnostic tools you prefer or have at your disposal. Reevaluate your life, look at your own life in terms of cause and effect. If your path to your goal was easy, did you achieve it, yes or no? If you were able to achieve that goal, did it bring you further success and happiness? Or did it bring you much more unhappiness and problems? And so, through a chain of simple binary options, you will come to understand whether it's random or not. Is it really your destiny to follow a difficult path, or is there someone or something that is holding you back and making the path seem so long? Anything could be. But it's very likely that this is just part of the quest. And you yourself once decided to do this quest by the shortest route.